Okay, 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 okay. Now let's talk about Angel Reed Chicago Sky. But before we get started, I want to thank y'all for tuning in to the Gertie Mac Show, taking y'all time to subscribe to the channel, like, and share my videos. I really appreciate all that. Now let's go. So Chicago Sky and Angel Reese have gotten themselves in a situation where they probably won't make the playoffs. They went out there to Las Vegas to take on the Aces, and they got blowed out like a birthday candle. Las Vegas Aces beat Chicago Sky, named it to 71. 19 points. Chicago Sky have now lost seven straight games and the Chicago fans who has been there supporting, rooting for the team, are now feeling some type of way like things may be going downhill. They have been taking L's after L's after L's after L's, and it doesn't seem like nothing is working. Now, Angel Reese has responded to them losing in a subliminal kind of way. But, I mean, it's a motivating message. And she has a lot of weight on her shoulders. And also, Teresa Weatherspoon has a lot of weight on her shoulders. And of course, you know, they are missing Kennedy Carter. Now, Chicago Sky, they're going to have to pull this together. But I don't really think they need to be in the playoff because they probably won't go far. Now, Angel Reese responded and she posted this to her social media. She said this, never satisfied with the short-term success. Wait and watch the long-term progression. Well, they better get the focusing on that long-term by making some trades. And be honest with you, they need a clean house and get rid of the most of the players on the team. Now, a lot of people feel like Camilla Cordoza really needs to go somewhere else and play for another team because she is not really getting her just due. Now, Teresa Rutherspoon is in the hot seat again. Seven weeks in a row. Seven times in a row. Because she got to now discuss again losing. This is what she had to say. You can tell she is frustrated. And I feel bad for her because she is doing all she can. And each time the Chicago Sky loses, there are two people who are going to get all the blame. That is Teresa Weatherspoon and that is Angel Reese. Y'all check out what Teresa Weatherspoon had to say. Uh, and we're, we're going to stay up. We're not a team that gives up. We're not a team that's going to throw in the towel. We know we still have a fighting freaking chance, and uh, we have to get out there and play the type of basketball we know we can play in order to win games. Now, when we talk about that, the most important thing is to protect the ball, value possessions. Value possessions, at least get a shot, no matter what, at least get a shot up. And they recognize that, but we have to be better with it. You know, can talk it, but when you're playing it, you got to do it. So we got to be able to handle the ball and be able to get the ball where it needs to be, like I always say, to the right person at the right time. When talking about your two rookies specifically, I mean, mm -hmm. both of them have come in and talked about how they come from extremely winning programs. They, they didn't lose much. Yeah. And obviously being a rookie in this league is a challenge. Mm -hmm. Losing seven straight is a challenge. How are you talking to them and keeping their confidence high in this moment? Oh, yeah. When you're honest with it, losing is not – it's not a cute thing. It doesn't feel good. It's not a feel good thing. So you take that feeling that you have. That doesn't feel good to lose. And when you step into practice, that feeling that you have is, I don't want to feel like this. I don't want this feeling. That's a harder fight that has to be in us to go get a win. It's a harder fight. Everybody's fighting, not just us, but everybody's fighting in this game. You just have to fight harder and be smarter in the fight. And that's where we are right now. All right, Carly Bell on Zoom, please. Hey, Coach, I just have one question for you uh, on Camilla. Um, she fouled out of the game, but we also saw, you know, foul trouble out of Angel really early in the season, and we've, we're now seeing that with Camilla. Do you just kind of accredit this foul trouble that Camilla's been getting into as just rookie growing pains, or what would you attribute um, that issue that we've seen uh, these last couple game, games just getting fouls early? Really just making her adjustments to the play calls, the way the referee's calling the game. You know, we talk about it all the time. It's for her just to be straight up with her hands, make them make it over her, through her. And that's going to be a difficult task within itself, just with her hands up really high. The moment they come up, come down just a little bit, they're making that call against her. It's just a matter of making the adjustments with that. That's all. 
And then I'm sorry, one follow up. Um, Michaela Onyanwede has just really settled into this starter role. Yeah. She's had some consistency, at least in offensive production, has averaged around 15 points a game when she has started. What have you seen out of her that's been uh, a glimpse, of, that's been a bright spot with Kennedy out and what she's been able to fill in with Kennedy being gone? It's been absolutely wonderful to watch uh, Michaela grow during this time and play with the level of confidence that she's playing with. Uh, she's just tremendously aggressive. She's aggressive offensively and defensively. But when you believe in yourself and believe in what's asked of you and you take that role and you master that role and you you accept your role and you just go get busy when you're out there, that's what she's doing. She's just really getting busy uh, with her in, in her own comfort zones and making sure that she's taking the shots that she knows she can take uh, that we're asking her to take. She's doing a heck of a job for us. Uh, and She's just going to continue to grow. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. We'll go to Mike. Mike. Hey, coach. Appreciate the time. Um, you know, Angel and, and Camilla and so many others have talked about how veterans on this team have been such a huge impact for them. Ty Young and yourself have been such an impact on you just being constantly in their ear about how they can improve every single day, how they can be better. Is there anybody for you that you frequently talk to, you know, in whether, you know, too high or too low throughout the season that you talk to about your improvement and, you know, just picking the brains of others? Absolutely. I have, uh, Quite a few on speed dial that I, I uh, listen to and um, pay attention to what they're telling me and um, things that um, I've learned from them that I try to make sure that I'm doing it in the correct way. Uh, yes, I do have a few that I have on speed dial that I trust and believe in so very much. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Any others for Coach? Yeah, just two more quick ones. Um, since the Olympic break, the off, you guys are averaging the fewest points per game in the league and so with the limited time left in the schedule what do you see as being like an immediate answer or something that that you guys can do differently um to try and remedy that fast obviously there's no there's no excuses in in the game in this game no matter what right but health plays a huge part for us right now is being healthy and uh, once we get there you know we got to get there and get there quickly uh but we we have to be healthy that's that's the biggest part for us is being healthy so that's my second question. Yeah. Just obviously, we know um, Kennedy's been out, and, and um, we don't have an expectation. So just again, checking on that. Yeah. Do you have an expectation? Do we, can we expect her back for this Fox game? Or? We're looking forward to having her back. Uh, that's that's what we expect, and uh, we'll see when we get home and be able to get more hands-on of, of where she is, uh, and it'd be great to, to have her back. So as you can hear, Teresa Weatherspoon is probably tired of trying to explain why they're losing. I mean, at this point, seven straight losses, and then you have Angel Reese on your team. Of course, I'm not saying Angel Reese is supposed to make sure they win every game. A lot of people may feel like that, but I don't because she plays down low, but she don't put up a lot of points for them to just go walk away with a win. They're going to need other people to contribute to them winning, and Angel Reese alone is not going to do it. Not even Angel Reese and Camilla Cardoza together is not going to do it. They need other players on the perimeter to knock down shots and help get them up to the next level. And that's not happening right now. And Teresa Weatherspoon is just in a situation where they continue to lose, they're going to blame the coach. Now, um, Asia Wilson, we got to give her some credit. She's been putting up big numbers um, game after game. Now, she had 30 points. 14 rebounds and two steals in three blocks. Now, if Angel Reese were putting up these kind of numbers, then yes, Chicago Sky will win a lot of their games. And now, like I said, they've been getting blowed out. Um, they play Indiana Fever, Caitlin Clark. They got blowed out. Their series, Indiana Fever, end up basically were winning what, three out of four games. Um, Indiana Fever, I think, have clinched the playoffs. Chicago Sky. Is probably not going to get an opportunity to get that eight seed that I know they wish they could be in. But if they make it, they make it. But I don't think they're looking like a team that's going to go for in the playoffs. And they need to regroup and get ready for next season. But y'all get in the comments, tell what y'all think. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like and share this video. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop another video. And also follow my social media at GertieMac15. Hollow.